Hello and welcome to Wind. Uh, there's some wind. <laughs> Hello and welcome to In the Court of the Winter King. Uh, check out our Patreon at went, uh, www.patreon.com slash Winter King if you want to buy us coffee or not. Uh, we are reviewing Dark Fat, Nurse with Wind. We've aimed to span the career of Nurse with Wind. I thought that was a good idea. So I've bought this quite recent one. Fast forward to 2016 for this one. Um, it's a double. I didn't realise it was going to be a double. <laughs> and if I knew it was a double, we wouldn't have chosen this one. Um, an awful lot of music. It does mean you get a bit of everything. Uh, there's even singing um, and fairly normal drum loops, although the normal drum loops suddenly slow down and there's someone talking. <laughs> um, I'm not even I'm not even sure if this is an album. Is the thing? It's certainly something that's going to be a very slow burner, obviously, because there's just so much of it. But I, it's, it feels like a compilation. So obviously, you're getting so much stuff on there. It's obviously all the stuff he's done in the two year period so he's just put it on there you know certainly doesn't fit together as one thing um, but I suppose what, what is interesting is the journey we've done over the three albums is you know we've gone from the found objects clanging to purely electronic music to electronic and with real instruments on there um, there's guitars and bass and vocals um, so because it's so varied though I mean a lot of it I mean, generic is a ridiculous word to use, but compared to that, <laughs> this is sounds like rock music. So that, and those bits are less interesting, I think, than the very, very extreme stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, if, if you sat down and listened to this, the whole thing alone, actually really listened to it, you know, um, without stopping, you'd be sectioned. You'd need to be sectioned. <laughs> you wouldn't be coming out anytime soon, is, is my argument. Dark fat. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what to say? You got through it though. Y- yeah, just about. Um, you know how sort of like films they have these sort of techniques. Um, I think they call it suturing. They suture in, suture you into the film space with these techniques. So you get that sort of. You're not even aware that you're watching a film. You sort of you get lost in. You get lost into it and you're sort of empathizing with the characters and you're kind of experiencing the film. And there's sort of like several, you know, several rules that they do, like eye line matching and stuff like that to do it. So, like when they break the fourth wall, yeah. look at the camera, they're actually breaking that um, that process. Yes. Whereas you're sort of sunk into the film, film space. Uh, I never thought there was an equivalent of that for music until Nurse with Wound. There was something very hypnotic, you know. Kind of, hypnotic is is probably quite a good word. You're kind of hypnotized into that area, and you sort of you fall into the world. Yeah, it? and that's I think that's what we were trying to get over the the, the previous couple of um, albums. Yeah, saying so you really get drawn in, uh, and not in a, <laughs> not, in a nice <laughs> not in a nice way, but you are drawn in, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, because this is so varied. Um, you kind of lose that a little bit, which for me was the biggest draw mm. with Nurse with Wound. Yeah, it was that sort of, oh, okay, I'm going on this journey now. It's, <laughs> I suppose it is almost like taking a psychedelic drug, you know. Mm-hmm. You're sort of a little bit out of control. Once you've committed to it, you're sort of a little bit out of control and you're going to get sucked in. Yeah, well, well, I mean, Salt Marie Celeste. Yeah, he's so exactly. It's an hour long, and you get you, you sit there and listen to it now. You put it on, think I'll just have a bit of it. An hour later, you've been through it. <laughs> You're at the other side. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the fact that it is so long as well. I mean, that kind of does break because there is a sort of there is a limit, you mm. know. I mean, a film that is going to be three hours long has to be good, yeah, and has to yeah. be a lot going on. Um, Whereas this, you're right, it feels more compilation-y. I think he's sort of, he's recorded a lot of stuff, hasn't he? Yeah, there's lots of bits of live yeah. stuff happening. I mean, obviously, it's a Zappa thing, isn't it? He feels he's got to use it. Yeah. So he's put it all on the album. Yeah. It's, it must be so hard to produce something like this because you have got to keep it fresh. Yeah. Um, 
and the the tools that you're using to generate the sounds uh, you know they're not standard you're looking for new ways of generating sounds that are interesting yeah and if you did that on your first album yeah well Pink Floyd tried it didn't they uh, is it, uh, yeah Household Objects Household Objects you know they tried yeah. to make music uh, differently well they just found they weren't, and they, t- weren't talented enough to do that well they were, what they found in the end is they were just imitating musical instruments with yeah. with other things yeah this is this you know this guy has managed to actually do it you know he's managed to with the aid of computers and I would imagine a massive library of sounds yeah he's oh. actually managed to to recreate the uh, the music well remake the music making process yeah, even well, if you can call it me I mean do you consider Salt Mary Celeste music yes yes I do it has a theme uh well, yeah, it's, it sounds that you listen to and you enjoy listening to and gives you an emotional response, so it's music. But also, there is a melody. Whether the melody is, is complicated or, or hidden or weird, a melody is still a melody and a riff is still a riff. Mm-hmm. So even if the riff is... That's still a riff. I think it's actually quite blurry, whether it is actually music or whether it is something, something else. You know, I mean, we call comic books books, but is it a book? Yes. Yeah, comic book fans call them books. Yeah, I'm not sure a comic book is a book. Oh, is it? I think it's its own thing. Its own particularly unique... Yeah, I suppose, sort so, of, yeah. Um, I mean, movies are different, aren't they? Yeah. So, if it's a visual thing, it's, you're right, yeah. yeah, yeah. True. So I, I, I always thought this would be a little bit like that. Mm. Sort of a kind of... A hy- it's, it's sort of definitely related to music, but it's kind of... It's a hybrid thing. Yeah. It is an experience, but lots of mm. things are an experience. But, but yeah, yeah, putting that on is has nothing to nothing to do with putting on Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah, nothing at all. No. Um, so yeah, I mean there are very very good, good and scary bits, as you would expect with Nursery Wound. But it does feel different for some reason, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. We've been jumped forward decades. Um. 50 albums later. So yeah, it's just what he's doing at the time. Or better record all that. I don't, this isn't the last album. I got that because the one after said it was a self-released live album. So I thought, well, that's the studio album. But it, again, like Zappa. Yeah. There's live bits on there and there's all sorts of stuff on there, you know. So it's not, it's not one session of, of recording stuff. It's a compilation of his bits over two years. <laughs> Start oh, from, actually, from 2008 to 2016, it oh. says. So, you know. I mean, this does give you. This is slightly disappointing. What is it? <laughs> Dark fat, psychopathic scumbag individuals, regimes, and corporate filth dedicated to Julian. I love crushing bastards. Assange. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bit disappointing. Isn't it? Oh, he's got it John Pilger as well. I think he's quite anti. It's gonna be, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's, it's inevitable. Yeah, you, you you don't want any information. No, you want just a picture. You don't want any text. No, I mean, the music itself is completely apolitical. I mean, you think yeah. that's something Roger Waters would say? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah you I mean, we, we, we know the chances are that's what he's going to say, but that's not the point, is it? You yeah. want the, the, these fantastic covers, the titles of the tracks, and the music. That's, yeah. all, that's all we want. We don't, you, don't, you give anything else in there, it does, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I actually don't like all of it. Uh, the other two albums, I liked all of it. Uh, it's inevitable just because there's so much of it and it's actually very, very varied. Um, the the best, <clears throat> as I said, the best stuff is when it's extreme. At its most extreme, that's that's the Nurse with Wound stuff we talk about. I mean, track five on disc one. Is it track five on disc one? That's an actual rock thing. Banality with a beat. <laughs> and it is, it's, but it's, except it's got weird voices over the top and stuff. But that's kind of, so it's, it's that's the idea, and it grates. That's just rock music going, dun, 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 you know. <laughs> that's really, really clever. And uh, actually, I was the, one of the songs is called "Rock and Roll Something." What's it called? Rock and Roller, nineteen fifty nine. Of course, made me think of Judas Priest with "Rock and Roller," which is a terrible song. Um, and I thought, well, what's that going to be like? You know, and it's um, really banal. Do with people talking about it. I actually don't like that track, so that's interesting. But then you get, you know, that, um, and what comes after track five on this one is whoosh, whoosh, a radicalised view. 
which is really extreme industrial noise. Um, it's a bit like, imagine cold, but there's 5,000 versions of it playing all at once. <laughs> <laughs> it's just horrible noise. Um, imagine, you know, when you, you know, when you go to a, it's been a long time, but if you've ever been in a factory where there's all machines going on, it's just really loud all the time. <laughs> it's like being strapped to a machine for 24-7. Uh, except you're all, you're in twenty seven factories all at the same time, <clears throat> and of course you're listening to that twenty four seven sound in the space of six minutes or whatever it is. Um, the noise is so full, <laughs> it's so dense. You uh, you know you can't discern individual sounds. It's so dense. Every single frame has so many things going on, and there's a sort of fallout. I, th- I think fallout thing going on at the end. I, think, I don't know whether it's deliberate, but that's what I, I thought. We've, set, we've talked a lot about Nursery Wound. Yeah. And I think our first review, we covered all the bases, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And the second the album was different enough. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. Um, I was always worried about the, particularly the third. <laughs> I mean, there is so much here to, to sort of um, do a, a line by line review would be ridiculous yeah just describe it just this. And then this happens and then this really, happens don't really do it anyway I would say I mean this is we are 50 albums in it's I would listen to it after you've exhausted everything else yeah I'm, I'm wondering if actually the Nurse with wound, wound Journey is to start from the first one we did well the one we did yeah first and then move through the albums yeah actually and you'll probably get an amazing experience yeah and this is more like a, a look back well not a look back but more of a sort of this is the next one, isn't it? It's a sort yeah. of a celebration of Nurse with Wound, almost. Yeah. Yeah, because there's, there's so oh. much. Yeah. yeah. A satanic celebration <laughs> of Nurse with Wound. I hope, I hope he's well and all this stuff, and he's still going to be working, or, you know. Yeah, I mean, it does make me wonder how, you know, can, can you actually support yourself doing this kind of stuff? Apparently, yeah. I, I remember I, I had to order this from his own website. Oh. Um, it came from Northern Ireland. No, sorry, it came from Southern Ireland, which confused me completely. And I think that's just where he lives. He's he's not Irish. He just he just lives there because it's nice. I recommend it. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, can we egg this? I think it's quite hard to egg. Yeah, it does. All the eggs. I don't mean six eggs. I mean it's yeah. one egg and two egg and a three egg and four egg and five egg and six eggs. There you go. That's the answer. It's more like a history book than a than an album. Uh, if you know what I mean alpha eggs yeah something yeah that's probably going to be our shortest review ever was that really short? I think so about 10 minutes maybe I'll talk more about the songs track one goes <laughs> bee, bee, and then track two um, again as I said with the first album track one is a good introduction to Nurtured Wound actually that leak, leaking putrid underbelly noble cause corruption and Devil Dreaming, and then Servant... Oh, no, sorry, that's the second song. Yeah, that. <clears throat> Track two is really long. So that's good mentioning that it was really long. If you want a long one, then track two is long. That's the one we're singing on, though. Mm. And it is a woman going... Ooh, you know, um, but does go in, progress into a weird riff thing. So I do, I do not quite like that one. Some of it made me think of Zappa. And actually, I thought about it. No other Nursery Wound has ever made me think of Zappa, so that's that's interesting. I think it's track four, I think. I'm not actually sure about that. Of the first disc. I don't, Notice I know the first disc much better than the second disc. Yeah, Lost in the Ocean. Very, very Zappa music concrete type stuff. It's worth mentioning the bonus track. There's an untitled bonus track. Uh, and it's like an encore. It's actually not that what. It's, it's with an audience cheering and, and some dooch, doo, dooch, type. By Nurse with Wound standards, quite banal stuff, but that's in, it's like an encore. So maybe this is like a Nurse with Wound concert. Maybe, that, maybe that's the idea of it. But you couldn't, you could not let's sit and listen to all of that <laughs> in one go. That's the thing. I mean, no way. Nobody the, could handle that. Uh, the, the, the albums I've listened to, they have been crafted as a sort of a listening experience. Yes. You know, you sit down and you listen to the whole lot. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, that. you would dip into this. You would pick one, yeah. pick up t- track two, and listen to that. You know, interesting. Mm-hmm. Mm. He did. He did say one day he'll do a hip hop album. 
think I like about that. There's, I do not know whether he's joking. It could be a joke. <laughs> no, it's quite funny. But actually, it's perfectly feasible. It's perfectly, you know, believable that he might might do that, you know. Um, there is a sense of humour in there. And I think there probably already always was a sense of humour in there, but it's, it's more explicit on this one. And it, there is actually a line, uh, just slow down the end of the city part is, is the line in there, which maybe that's going too far. Maybe you shouldn't reveal when it's silly. Yeah. You know? mm. There we go then. That's dark fat. <laughs> we highly recommend Nurse of the Wound, any of it. Yeah. You know, and that's a good one. Make sure you're in a good place in your life, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, don't go there otherwise. Yeah, it's quite. Uh, it could be detrimental. Yeah, you you can get all his all his um, all his albums from his website. Link below. Go to Amazon. They're hundreds of pounds, so I assume hundreds of dollars as well. Don't do that. Get mm-hmm. them from his website. Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. We're back next week, though, with something else, and it is, I think. Peter Hamill. Yeah, it's Peter Hamill. Yeah. See you next week. I think the Peter Hamill thing might be on Patreon before we release it. Cool. On yeah. on on, we'll on general release. Yes. Yeah. Shenmue. Oh, Shenmue three. Well, I've been talking. I heard a lot of talk about that recently. It's not coming out until next year. I'm not surprised. It's not really coming out, is it? It's not real. I never played Shenmue two properly. <laughs> there, there, there was a rumor. I think they were saying that Final Fantasy seven is probably going to come out in 2022. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>